Yes guys, welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. Chelsea versus Tottenham in the Premier League on Sunday. It's first versus third. Heated London derby, so you know I had to get the one, the only expressions to jump on. Bro, what are you telling me? Fam, man's here, blood. You know them way there, fam. Like, I'm here, man. Shout out. What, what's this going on? What, are we on Lewis Gabriel Selassie FC yet? Yeah, my yeah? personal channel, bro. Oh, I say no more, blood. Yeah, this is the first time I've been on here, innit? Shout out the LG Army and that. You know yes, them way guys. there. Yes, guys. Everyone, you already know expressions. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below, but you already know where to find him. Before I start this video, as usual, if you guys haven't done so already, hit the like button, press the subscribe button. Smash that bell notification button as well if you want to get that hat trick. And yeah, let's go straight into Chelsea versus Spurs because both of us have been in amazing form this season. Both of us are going to be confident going into this game. And you guys, yeah, second season Jose is in full effect. How gassed must you be feeling this season? Fam, I'm telling you, bro. I'm on, I'm on top of the world right now, fam. We're on top of the table. I'm on top of the world, fam. You know, like that hella on top. I'm on top of my gal. I'm on top of everything, like. You know what I mean? I'm gassed. Like, listen, it's not only like Jose Mourinho, it's like what he's done. Like the simple fact that the players have bought into his philosophy. If you see, the, like we look like the Avengers against Man City, bruv, the amount of defending we're doing in unison. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the tracking back from like the, the, the simple fact that the soft belly, the soft underbelly that we've had in previous years seems to just be fading away, bruv. You know what I mean? And when it does happen, when something like the West Ham thing happens, a big deal is made out of it. It's not just swept under the carpet. Oh, yeah, it was unlucky. No, it wasn't unlucky. You man play dead, fam. You man let them do that. You know what I mean? Jose comes out and he tells the players exactly what time it is. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for me, I'm happy. Like, Jose, a.k.a. Trophy Mourinho, yeah? The Portuguese Ric Flair, bruv. That's what I'm saying. You lot had Jose Mourinho. We got Trophy Mourinho. Even though he won the trophies with you lot, lad. You know I what I mean? The like, trophy's still pending with you guys, but... Yeah, no, no. Nah, like nah. It ain't Jose, ain't anyone else. Nah, listen, nah, you're right, you're right. That's not even an insult, fam. If Jose, because real talk, like, he's actually been given the tools. And for me, like, he knows what, you get me? He knows how to win a trophy. He's done it many times at all the clubs he's been at. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mm. trust me, like, if he don't win a trophy at Tottenham, like, I think he'll probably hate us more than we'll hate him, fam. You know, <laughs> you know them way there. That's his legacies on the line, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't even lie. Well, I hear that, but for him, I feel like the old Jose is back because... Not saying he's trying to fight to save his legacy, but this would be a, a massive notch on his legacy if he mm. brings Tottenham to that sort of glory where they're actually going to win trophies regularly. If he hits that winning mentality to a Spurs side, who, again, it's not an insult, but you guys are known for being Spursy. Like, that's been the key factor for Spurs over the last, probably even go further than the last decade. But he's taken that away from your team now. He's taken that away from your team. And credit to him, he's doing madness for you guys. But if we could go all the way back to when he first joined, what would you say is the biggest changes that you've seen since then? Well, the team itself, isn't it? Because when he first joined, do you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we haven't got rid of a lot of players, but the whole team, fam, that, that you know what I mean? As much as Pochettino, I rate Pochettino 100%, like, like the mentality of some of the players that, that he had in that squad, bruv, like, you get me? They either needed to change or they needed to leave, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what it is, isn't it? I think even like when you look at Deli Ali, the way he's blown up and man thought he was a superstar before he actually was. If Jose was his manager, them times when he actually blew up first on the scene, and he would have kept him level headed, would have showed man, what listen, no, you're not Deli Ali because he's just disappeared. Bro, listen, fam, I'm telling you, bro, like, I don't know what's happened with Deli Ali, in it, fam. You know what I mean? It's the same question, you know, what happened to Pep's hairline, bro? It's the same thing, blood. Like, both of them are gone, bro. Like, and I don't know, like, get me, hopefully. We can to Ali can bring his talent back before before flipping Pep goes Morocco, cuz you know them way there. But it just is what it is, fam. But like with Mourinho, I think the main thing he's done is instill the philosophy into our players, fam. And the fact is, they know that he's won. He's won everything pretty much in it. So they know, you know what? Anything this guy tells me, if I want to win a trophy, if I want to get myself to the next level, man's gonna listen to him. You get me, fam? That's pretty much what it is. So like, yeah, man, he's a big deal. I think he's a big deal. We've brought him in and I think what he's done is literally is like show us his game by game and bro, we're just performing game by game, innit? Man ain't chatting about no trophies, man ain't chatting about nothing. We know what we deserve, innit? And that's some silverware this season, blood. I don't care what trophy it is, innit? But you get me, I was chatting to my brethren the other day. He was like, oh, 
would you um i said the only trophy i would take it i'll take a europa league if it meant that we didn't make the top four i'll drop out of the top four right now i'll drop out of the top four right now take the europa league win that and then get into the champions league but would i take drop out of the top four in an fa cup or a carabao cup hell no blood hell no yeah hell no blood. not the position not the position we're in and the squad that we got hell no bro you know what i'm saying no because i was always thinking like the squad that you've got on your fixture list because I think our fixture list is mad, but you lot, you have been, mm -hmm. you lot have been screwed this season. Mm -hmm. I've, I've really been thinking that towards the end of the season, you lot might have to make that sort of sacrifice, Elite potential title race or mm. Europa League qualification. So you're saying you'd happily drop out the top four if it meant you could push the Europa League. Let's yeah. say the Premier League title. If December comes round, you've gone mm -hmm. through the Christmas period. You're still around the same period. You're still around the same area of the table that you are now. Mm -hmm. You're still going through in the Europa League, but you know that Thursday Sunday routine is going to kick mm -hmm. you in the ass. Mm -hmm. what, which one are you going to take? Are you going to take the potential title race? Like, we're not going to say you're running away with the league or anything, but mm -hmm. we're going to say you're around the race. Mm -hmm. Would you take that, or would you take? It Europa depends who's. Gee, it depends who's up there, fam. Like, say Liverpool's first, and they're like nine points clear. You get me? And we're the second team, but we're the closest. Do you know what I mean? And there's still a lot of games left. Bro, I'm taking that Europa League, cuz. You know them way there, fam. Big man ting. No, big man ting, you know. I do want the league, yeah. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, innit? I've been starved for so long, fam. You can't. A man that's mm -hmm. thirsty and his lips are dry, blood. You, you can't say, oh, I want a can of Coke, fam. He will take the water that's given to him. You don't care if the water's brown, fam. It's Arabian Nights in his mouth, blood. It's dry, bro. You know what I mean? So for me, I will take I will take anything before the big thing. That's the thing with Poch. Poch wanted the Premier League, the Champions League. That's why man didn't win no Carabao Cup. That's why Poch didn't win nothing at Tottenham. Because he was always going for the big trophy. He didn't Did care he about the little one. Huh? Did you say top four was a trophy? No, I didn't say that. Who Something said that? Something along the lines of it. I swear I heard him say that. Oh, what? oh, Poch said that. Poch, yeah, not Jose, not Jose. Oh, well, if Poch said that, then boy, you know what I mean? He's way, way, well, to be fair, top four was a trophy with what he was given, you know? I'm not going to lie. That's top late. four was a trophy with what he was given. You get me? Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. That man turned water into wine. Man's got to put respect on Poch, bro. You know what I'm saying, fam? Yeah, if anything, Poch, like, you lot still got mad love for him anyways. And you know what? He's put you up to that point where Jose could build you up further and everything like that. But if we look back towards the Chelsea game, Mm. Where do you lot think Chelsea can be exploited? Because I think for both of our teams, it's mm. I don't I don't see this as a massively attacking game, regardless of how good both of us are going forward. I think this game's gonna be more based on our defense. I mm -hmm. think it's gonna be more based on whoever makes the mistake first. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we see one goal in this game. So where do you think Chelsea could be exploited? You know what, yeah, I think I think our attack is good. I'm hearing I'm feedback, hearing by, feedback the way. by the way, but I think our attack's good. Man, you know what I mean? Up. Yeah, I think I think our attack's good, blood. Like, and our stats is exceptional. Like Harry Kane and Son, like their partnership. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the fact that our midfield are actually getting the ball to them, Kane's dropping deep and just doing a madness. I think that, like Jose, I, I do think he's gonna set up. Um, we're not gonna set up to attack, bro. We are gonna set up to like, you know what I mean, on the counter. Similar mm. to Man City, do you know what I mean? But the difference is, Man City are a team that attack, 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 which is why we got that. I don't think you lot are going to attack like that, do you know what I mean? Which means like it's going to be a lot more difficult, isn't it? I think we're going to actually have to play a lot more football than just, you know what I mean? Through ball and then we'll get us a goal, bruv. So, like, where can you lot be exploited? Like, for me, I just think, yeah, like your defense, you've got a uh, silver, great player, you know what I mean? I think Zuma's the next one you play, isn't it? Do you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Yeah. Reese James, good going forward, very good going forward. Uh, defensively, he can get got out a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I uh, think he's got back. better, but yeah, yeah, he's got better, but he can definitely get got got out. You know what I'm saying? For him, he ain't no one Bissaka defensively, blood. Do you know them way yeah, there? Yeah. Defensively, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, left back, chill well, he's solid, he's very solid. You know what I mean, fam? But I just got enough faith in our attack, bruv. Our front three. You know them way there. Whether Bale's playing or is Bergwin, you know what I mean? Our front three is just dangerous at the moment. Like, we've scored so many goals, blood. You know what I'm saying, fam? In all competitions, bro. Like, Jose's hitting man for the four Reneos, blood. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. big man ting. Man scored so many goals in all competitions that I think that, yeah, man, like, I think we've got this goals in this game. Like, as much as it ain't going to be attacking uh, for both teams, I think there's definitely goals in this game, fam. All right, cool. So... Final question, wrap it all off. Score predictions, what are you feeling? 
you know what now we've spoken you know what now we've spoken more on my channel i was like oh three one yeah but now we've actually spoken about it and i know that's what i'm saying chelsea lampard's definitely not going to set up to attack because you know what jim Mourinho is about in it mm -hmm. so when i actually think about it three one was ambitious you know what i mean it was very ambitious i'm going two one blood going two one I, mean, I was saying 2 0 on your video, and now I'm thinking that there could only be one goal in this game. Mm. I stuck 2 0 more, though, because it's the performance I want to see more than the one I think that could happen. Because yeah. I want to see us dominate, you guys. I want to see us dominate a top. That's what I'm saying. I want to see a 3 1. That's what it is. I don't think we'll get. I want to see a 3 1. If it's 3 1 based on what you want, cool, mm. go for it. Because I'm going to stick with 2 0, because that's what I want to mm. see from us anyway. Yeah, no, I want a 3 1, 100%. I'll take three points, to be fair, but like. A beating, like like a receipt of what we gave you, you know what I mean? Like say, oh, it's happened again, fam. I'd love that. Because when we gave you that free, yeah, like, bro, <laughs> it was absolute scenes, blood. I'm telling you, bro. You're away, crowd, bro. It was I absolute it. scenes, bro. Fam, I was just, I was right at the back, you know. I was at the heavens in the bridge, bro. Right at the back, fam. And I ended up making it onto Sky Sports with that, with that one clip, blood. You know what I mean? It was mad. Absolute madness, bro. People was on jumping up on top of each other and that. It was mad, bro. It was mad, fam. Can't even lie. Yeah, the sooner we're back in grounds, the better, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I kind of wish this game was a week later so we could have 2K Chelsea fans there. But <laughs> it is what it is. Last game, perfect way to end the lockdown. But expressions as usual. Thanks for jumping on. Glad to have you on. Come Guys, on, Guys, you already know where to find it. But same way, there'll be a link down in the description below. So check out Expressions channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well. And yeah, guys, let me know your score predictions down in the comment section below.